the issue top of mind for many New Yorkers. We're talking about crime, of course, and the role it plays in preventing New York City from rebounding from the pandemic recession. And the numbers really tell the story. Major crime spiked 23 percent this year, driven by a sharp increase in carjackings, robberies and burglaries. New York cops say repeat offenders are fueling the surge. Youth violence also remains a growing problem, but there is some encouraging news because shootings and murders this year, while still high, are down by double digits. So how to cut crime in the new year? Here's Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller. Who's firing a gun in New York City multiple times? We know who they are, and that's who we're focused on. NYPD Chief of Crime Prevention Strategies Michael LePetri highlighting a major achievement. Shootings and murders down in the city this year by double digits after spiking in 2021. He told me the biggest gains were in the Bronx. The data was showing that approximately 30 percent of all the New York City shootings happened in the Bronx. So what we did was we moved, not hundreds, but thousands of extra police officers into the Bronx. But while shootings and murders are down, there is another troubling trend. The number of children getting shot this year is surging. Just yesterday, police arrested a 17 year old girl in connection to the murder of 14 year old Prince Shabazz in Fordham Heights. One of 149 minors shot in the city this year. 10% of the shooting victims right now are under the age of 18. Why is that? So it's been fueled by gang and crew disputes. And a lot of that is fueled by social media. Uh, we see uh, music videos sometimes fueling this violence. But what we've also seen is our gun arrests are at the highest levels in 27 years. He was murdered at 21. Arisa Napper Williams' son, Andrell, was murdered in 2006 by a 15-year-old in Brooklyn. She says gangs continue to recruit teenagers to commit crimes, knowing they won't be charged as an adult. But they knew that him being caught at the age of 15, that he would get a slap on the wrist, and thus him only receiving nine years for my son's murder. What do you have to do in 2023 to bring those numbers back down? Well, first of all, we're, we're focused on prevention, right? Right. So when we see at youth risks, we want to get out in front of it. We, we want to speak to them. We want to speak to their parents. Prevention to hopefully avoid more tragedy in 2023.